Am I getting a heart attack? Am I going to get a stroke? Or is this a panic attack? I get this question very, very often because there are many times a patient comes to me and the patient has been labelled as having anxiety, panic attack, neurosis and so on and so forth. And this usually comes about because the patient was having palpitations which is short-lived by the time the patient comes to the emergency room for example and get an ECG done the ECG is almost always normal and therefore they start to explore the possibility that this may be a panic attack. One fine day, the palpitation lasted long enough and lo and behold, the ECG shows an arrhythmia. An arrhythmia can either be the patient's heartbeat become very fast, arrhythmia, so that's called tachy arrhythmia. Tachy means fast, arrhythmia is abnormal heart rhythm, or it's bready, slow heart rhythm. Some patients have seen 10 different doctors have had a series of tests 10 different times. All of them were normal until one day, the palpitation, the arrhythmia comes about. Do not waste any more money. Get a smartwatch or get a, EC, a mobile ECG like Cardia, a live call. Then the next time you have a palpitation, capture it on your mobile device, either the uh, smartwatch or your uh, mobile ECG and then come and see me. And many times I've, I've had the diagnosis made just based on ECG on these smart devices. Hi, I'm Dr. Razali. I'm one of the cardiologists at Cardiac Vascular Central specializing in electrophysiology. This World Heart Rhythm Week, I would advise all of you, if you can afford it, get a smartwatch with an ECG capabilities so that you can monitor your heartbeat. If you cannot afford a smartwatch, don't worry. Learn how to feel your pulse. Have a good World Heart Week. Bye-bye.